Okay, for our math today, we're going to be looking at page 157 in our math book. 157 in your math book. And your page is going to look like this. So we're going to do a little bit of review from what we did in class today. So we're going to subtract from 4 and 5. Okay, so you can subtract from 4 and 5. Now our directions to sit today say write different ways to subtract from 4 and 5. So I'm going to do a few of them with you. So since today we're only subtracting from 4 and 5, we're going to start with only 4 cubes. We're going to subtract from 4. And our first number always tells us how many we're starting with, right? So if I'm starting with the number 4, that means I'm only going to start with 4 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4. The rest of them, so that I don't get confused, the rest of them I need to put away for right now. I don't need those. So I'm going to start with 4. My first number tells me how many I have in the beginning. In the beginning, I have 4. Now you're going to make up your own subtraction strategies or your own subtraction number sentences, I should say, for the number 4. For example, I can do 4 minus any number that is less than 4. I can't do 4 minus 5 or 6 because how can I take away 6 if I only have 4, right? Let's say I had 4 minus 6. Minus means take away. I would do minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. <gasps> but I still need to do 5 and 6. But I'm out of cubes. So that's not possible. <coughs> so I could only do a number that is less than 4. So I can do 4 minus 1. Okay, I have 4 and I subtract 1. So that means I take away 1. How many are left? 1, 2, 3. 3 are left. Okay. What if I do 4? Again, I'm starting with 4, so I can only have 4 cubes. 4 minus 0. Okay, I have 4, and I'm going to subtract 0. So that means I'm going to take away nothing. So if I have 4 and I don't take anything away, how many do I have left? I have 1, 2, 3, Four left. Four. So four minus zero equals four. Okay, we're going to skip these because you're going to do these on your own. Let's jump to number five. Number five says five minus blank. So my starting number now is five. I have to start with five of these because my first number is five. Right now I have one, two, three, four. So I need to put one more. I always start with the first number. I have five cubes. Now I can pick any number here as long as it's less than five. It could be five or less. So I can use the numbers five, four, three, two, one, or zero. I can pick any one of these numbers to use for my subtraction from 5. Can I do 5 minus 6? No, because 6 is bigger than 5. And remember, this number has to be the biggest number in my number sentence. The first number has to be the biggest number in my number sentence. It has to be the biggest number. So if I put 6 here, then 6 would be the biggest number. But the second number can't be the biggest number. It has to be this one. So my, my second number needs to be smaller than 5. So I can do 5 minus 3. Let's try 5 minus 3. 3 is smaller than 5, right? So I have 5, and I'm going to subtract 3. 1, 2, 3. 
How many are left? Two are left. So this says 5 minus 3 equals 2. Okay, now I'm going to put my cubes back together because I'm starting with 5 again. 5. Okay, 5. And remember, my next number has to be smaller than 5. So I can do 5 minus any of these numbers. 5 minus... Let's do 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1. So I have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take away 1. How many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4. So my answer, my difference is 4. There we go. You're going to do the rest, 7 and 8. Okay, so then you have the next, you're, you're just going to do the rest on your own because it's just regular subtraction, 5 minus 3. So again, you have your 5, take away 3. Well, how many do you have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I start with 5, and I take away 3. 1, 2, 3. How many do I have left? 5 minus 3 equals 2. Two cubes are left. Okay, let's turn the page. All of these boys and girls, you're going to do on your own. So use your cubes. We're going to do number 20 together. Number 20 says, Chad rents five movies. Let's underline our number. He watches three of the movies. How many movies does he have left to watch? How many movies does he have left to watch? So Chad had five movies. So let's do this. Okay, so I have five movies. I'm going to do squares for movies. One, two, three, four, five. So Chad rents five movies. You're like, what does rent mean? <laughs> Chad rents five movies, but he watches three of them. So he already watched this one. He watched this one. And he watched this one. He watched one, two, three of them. How many movies does he still have left to watch? He still has how many? two movies left to watch. He has two movies left to watch. Okay, you, my friends, are going to do the rest of it on your own. Everything else is up to you. And then turn in a picture into Canvas. <laughs> 